On March 16, 2020, the number of positive COVID-19 cases reached 553 and Malaysian Prime Minister Tan Sri Muhyiddin Yassin issued the First Movement Control Order MCO. Unexpected global quarantine and MCO instructions caused alarm and dread. COVID-19 spread swiftly causing fear that impact various businesses and institutions including education. The Ministry of Higher Education Malaysia declared on May 27, 2020 that all teaching and learning activities in universities and other higher education establishments shall be performed online by December 31, 2020 with a subsequent notice for 2021. Few physical or face-to-face -face learning activities were exempt from COVID-19 outbreak prevention recommendation. E-learning or online distance learning or DL is the only safe means to conduct online learning and teaching. Online education is beneficial for students and teachers, particularly during MCO periods. Online learning was the only realistic option for universities and other private and public higher education institutions seeking continuing education activities with as little face-to-face -face contact as possible. These favorable consequences make motivation one of the most important parts of learning. According to Carl Women's Science Education Initiative, motivation and learning have a strong link and motivation has been researched extensively in conventional educational environments. Motivation is energized and directs human behavior. Motivation affects what, how and when we learn. Motivated learners are more likely to take on challenging activities, be actively involved, value learning and show enhanced performance resistance and originality. Despite this, few research have examined online learning motivation. Intrinsic and extrinsic motivation are the fundamental form. Before the pandemic, traditional teaching techniques, also known as face-to-face -face learning, in which teachers are in charge of the entire classroom and bear full responsibility for the learning environment, are a thing of the past. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic crisis, educators and students have indeed been left with uncertainty and the online courses in the environment were implemented on a short time and many issues about its effectiveness and effects on educators and students naturally arose, including students' motivation. The student challenges to online learning might be misreading of expectations, time management and interpersonal communication, whereas teacher difficulties could be connected to identifying expectations, delivering feedback and interpersonal relationships. Other learning was regarded as having difficulties. It is because they had too many tasks to do in a short period of time. The students say that online learning caused them to experience tiredness, headaches, and fever. Moreover, staying focused and motivated are the two biggest challenges that students, uh, that university students, have faced since they were forced to shift from face-to-face -face study to virtual and remote <laughs> learning due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Lack of encouragement in motivation uh, on the other hand has been highlighted as a significant factor in leading to the dropout rates. For our research questions, the first one is what is the motivation of students during online distance learning? The second one is there any significant difference in motivation between male and female students during online distance learning? The third one is what is the relationship between the learning environment and the motivation of the student? The fourth one is what is the relationship between the workload and students' motivation in online distance learning? And the last one is what is the relationship between the interaction of students and educators on students' motivation to study during online distance learning? And for our objective, the first one is to determine the motivation of students during online distance learning. The second one, to compare the motivation of male and female students during online distance learning. And the next one is to examine, to examine the significant relationship between the learning 
environment and the motivation of the students. Next, to examine the significant relationship between the workload and students' motivation in online distance learning. And last one is to examine the significant interaction of students and educators on students' motivations to study during online distance learning. Based on this figure, our dependent variable is students' motivation during online distance learning. Furthermore, in this study, we have three independent variables, which are learning environment, workload, and student educator interaction. This conceptual framework is to provide a clear link between these variables. Based on the independent variables, there are hypotheses that have been developed. For learning environment, the HO1 learning environment has a positive impact on students' motivation and HO2 is learning environment has no positive impact on students' motivation. This is also developed as well as for workload and student educator interaction. For research methodology, this research will use a cross-sectional quantitative design to achieve its goal. This research examines the motivation of UITM's remind Tiger online distance learners. This study unit of analysis is an UITM's remind Tiger student. UITM Shrombine had 5,651 students which required 359 respondents based on Craig C and Morgan. The research target UITM students in Sermon Negeri Sembilan. UITM students were an excellent subject since they were highly engaged in online distance learning, especially during pandemic outbreaks. This study aimed to discover what influenced students' motivation in online distance learning, such as the learning environment, workload, and student educator interaction. A set of surveys will be prepared based on three study parameters. We will gather primary data. This study will be based will be question based. This research uses SPSS. SPSS manage large quantities of social science data. Since we're acquiring UITS from Mantiga students, we will require plenty of data. For our finding, these are the demographic profit that we get from the respondents. As we all can see here, 158 respondents are female and 74 respondents are male. Majority of the respondents are between 21 to 23 years old and majority from the respondents are degree holder and from FSPPP faculty. Next, these are the programs in UITM Srembantiga. 73 from respondents are from AM228, which is the majority, and 134 students from the respondents are final year students. For the main findings, the first objective is to determine the motivation of students during online learning. The analysis that we use is descriptive analysis and the result is the majority respondents exp express agreement with the points highlighted. This is shown by the mean student motivation score above 2.5 indicating a good, a good opinion of motivation among UITM Serambantika students. The second ob objective is to compare the motivation of, fem of male and female students during online distance learning. The analysis that we use is independent test. The result is the significant is 0.126 is bigger than 0.05. Therefore, there is no significant difference between motivation of male and female and the hypothesis is HO2 is rejected and HA2 is accepted. The third objective is to examine the significant relationship between the learning environment and the motivation of the students. For this objective, the analysis that we use is Pearson correlation and the Pearson correlation is 0.651 and the significant is 0 0.000. Therefore, HO2 O3 is accepted and HA3 is rejected. 
The fourth objective is to examine the significant relationship between the workflow and the motivation of the students in online distance learning. For this objective, the analysis that we use is Pearson correlation and the result is 0 0.216 and the significance 0 0.001. Therefore, HO4 is accepted and HA4 is rejected. The fifth objective is to examine the significant relationship between the student and educators' interaction and the motivation of the students in online distance learning. For this objective, it is the same analysis that we we use, which is person correlation, and the result is 0 0.753 and the significance is 0 0.000. Therefore, HO5 is accepted and HA5 is rejected. For the research recommendation, firstly, it inspires student engagement in learning activities. The purpose of learning is to attain optimum performance and success. If students have a strong learning drive, the learning process will be successful. Teachers, as the educators and motivators, must urge students to learn in order for them to attain the required objectives and behaviors. Secondly, is enhancing student comprehension in online instruction. Distance learning or online learning is a kind of education in which students begin their studies at home without attending physical class. This underlines the needs of an educator's mastery of technology so that distance learning may continue to operate efficiently during a pandemic. Next is time management. Students' self-motivation was effectively boosted through time management. Learning time management may help you remain on top of your classwork stay ahead of assignment deadlines and free up the time that students did not realize they had for studying or relaxing and the last one is create study area it is because having a designated location for student student homework is one of the greatest way for students to keep their drive to study at home There are three limitations of study and future research suggestion, which are the first one is time restrictions. Due to time restrictions, only one institution could be examined, which may compromise the, the, the general liability of the research. The researcher has no influence over the process of selecting students to receive the study to receive the survey or the time required to transmit the survey via email to the chosen students. As a consequence, the report recommends that future research lengthen the duration of data collection from respondents. Secondly is limited model. This study mainly focuses on three independent factors which are learning environment, workload and student educator interaction. Hence, it is deficient in variables. In the research study, the researchers examined just the indicated part of the literature review. As a consequence, the study has small variance in the independent variables which compels the researchers to investigate other aspects that influence students' motivation during online distance learning. Lastly is limited previous research study. The research is still fresh given the COVID-19 pandemic just occurred in December 2019. The investigation on the pandemic breakout began in March 2021 and the researcher had difficulties locating relevant material due to the topic's uh, scarcity and the limited number of connected research works. Thus, the researcher should broaden the data gathering approach for future studies by utilizing both primary and secondary data to gain more information on developing and modern research. Globally, COVID-19 has affected students' learning capacities. This research aims to increase 
understanding and study on the aspects that impact online student motivation, which are learning environment, workload, and student educator interaction. According to this study, three factors influence online student motivation learning environment, workload, and student educator interaction are positively associated and affect online student motivation. The study's insight may assist college students discover motivational variables. This research has also offered student motivation influencing information by highlighting the most essential online learning components.